At one point, the Babbitt Play Kit was considered by many to be the best play kit from Love Every. But after a bit of market research and customer feedback, Love Every actually updated all four of the Year One boxes, the Babbler, the Pioneer, the Realist, and the Companion. The changes were pretty significant. In this video, I'll be focusing on the Babbler, the 13, 14, and 15 month play kit. More specifically, I'll be going over what items were removed and what new items were added to see if the changes were for the better or worse. Can it still be considered the best play kit? Let's take a closer look at what changes were made before I dive deeper into judging the value. They removed the Colorful Foods book, Where is Crew's Shoe book, Big and Little Mini book, Clean and Messy Mini book, Nesting Felt Baskets, the Rainbow Ball, the Watercolor Ball, the Purple Felt Ball, and Stella and her Speedster. Yeah, that's quite a bit of items that were actually removed. Here we have the items that stay the same and are in both the old and the new box. They are the Slide and Seek Ball Run, the Flexible Wooden Stacker, the Circle of Friends Puzzle, and the wooden coin box. But the wooden coin box actually received an update and it's not just a color change. The yellow top is now a removable lid so you can swap it out with one of the two new items that were added, the carrot lid or the posting lid. They also added bunnies and a felt burrow and the book Bedtime for Zoe, which actually was originally in the Realist Kit. As you probably already know, Love Every items are only officially available by subscribing to their play kits. So it's a bit hard to pinpoint the exact value of each of the items inside the box. They recently did release a subscriber shop, but once again, you have to be subscribed to the play kit to have access to it. I'll touch a bit more on the subscriber shop a little bit later. The best way I found to judge the value of Love Every items is by finding similar items on Amazon that mostly teach the same skills. I do try my best to find a comparable item, but I also factor in pricing to find the cheapest alternative. In my previous Babbler unboxing video, I already found Amazon alternatives for the original play kit. In that video, I found that if you try to recreate your own Babbler play kit on Amazon, you end up spending $214.84, which is significantly more than the cost of the $120 play kits. Let's see what happens if I attempt to recreate the new version of the kit. But to be fair, I'll be using the exact same alternatives from before for the items that stayed the same. The alternative I found for the slide and seek ball run was not actually one toy, but two toys, as the Love Every one is quite unique and it took two toys to teach the same concepts. A ball drop for $17.95 and an object permanence box for $19.95. Circle of Friends puzzle alternative I found was the circle puzzle for $8.99. For the flexible wooden stacker, an equivalent that I found is this wooden stacker for $11.94. Although the wooden coin box did get an update, I'm still going to use the same previous wooden coin box I found for $22.99. The new one is quite unique and chances are you're not going to find anything else like it. And since we're on the topic of the wooden coin box, this actually leads us right into the new toys. Two of the new toys aren't standalone toys, but there are lids that replace the coin lid to make new activities for your child. At least to the best of my knowledge, there aren't any other coin box toys that have interchangeable lids. I'll treat both the carrot lid and the posting lid as separate toys, as they do refine different skills from the coin box. There are actually quite a bit of toys out there that have a similar concept of putting a carrot into a hole. I found this listing for $17.98. While it's not completely identical, as the Love Everyone does have the option to eventually push the carrot all the way through, this was the closest I could find. The posting lid is meant for your child to place objects into the hole. The alternative I found is actually not a real toy, but a cheese shaker for $10.95. It serves the same purpose of allowing your child to post objects into it. Love Every suggests Q-tips to be used with their posting lid, but you can also use something similar like pipe cleaners. Just make sure that you cut them so that they fit properly inside. And another great alternative are craft matchsticks. The Bedtime with Zoe is a book that introduces routine, sequence, and time. I found that book on Amazon about bedtime routine for $8.99. It doesn't use real pictures like Bedtime with Zoe though. As for the felt bunnies in a burrow, I actually received a similar concept product from Kiwico Panda Crates in the past. I made a similar price comparison video for that Panda Crate, and just like back then, I can't find any toys made for toddlers with the same concept, but I did find these hide and seek toys made for dogs. The concept is similar enough and oddly there aren't any toy making companies that make something similar. I'm definitely not suggesting you buy toys that are made for dogs for your child as I have no idea how safe these are if your child decides to put it in their mouth. However, for the sake of putting a price on the items, let's go ahead and place this $9.49 hide and seek toy as a placeholder. 
If you bought all the alternatives on Amazon to recreate the new Babbler Kid, it costs you $129.23, which is slightly more expensive than buying the actual Play Kit from Love Every for $120. Now let's compare this to the old kit, which would have cost $214.84 to recreate. By looking at this, you might think, well, the new Babbler Kit is a ripoff as there's a value difference of $85.61. While I will note that the value of the box has significantly gone down, I'm not quite sure the overall experience and learning has decreased. Many of those new items look amazing. My son personally loves posting and pushing toys, so the new carrot and posting lid looks like a great addition. While my son hasn't interacted with the bunnies in a felt burrow, he does really like the cubicle one that we have. I think that the handle on the top would be something that he'd really enjoy carrying around with him. On the flip side, they did remove quite a bit of nice items that I'm sure many parents were looking forward to to introduce to their children. The nesting felt baskets are still a huge hit with my son, and right now his favorite book is Where is Cruz's Shoe? It's a very interactive book and he loves finding his Avery doll every time we go to the page with Avery behind the plant. I understand as a company, Love Avery had to keep their costs similar when updating the box so that they can still profit, but it's just not a good look when they remove nine items and only add back in four. Luckily, Love Avery did introduce a subscriber shop. The subscriber shop allows you to purchase items that you missed out on. This is for both the removed items as well as new items that were added. They'll email you a link with access to the subscriber shop as you can't find it on the website. Also, the items shown in the shop are only for the items that you missed out on, so it's not a replacement shop. Another nice gesture that they've done is they are offering a one-time 40% off toys you didn't get. But keep in mind, there's a $10 shipping fee unless you spend over $75. You can't purchase their regular items to help you with that $75. It is nice of them to offer this, but you're spending additional money on top of the $120 you've already spent on the box. Since the subscriber shop is something new, um, they do seem to be fairly backed up, at least at the time of this video. As I placed my order for new items I didn't receive from the Babbler and the Pioneer Kit about three weeks ago, and they still haven't shipped it yet. Personally, I have to say, I'm a bit torn on whether the changes were good or bad. I like the new toys they added, but knowing so much was removed, if I didn't receive these boxes already, I would feel a bit gypped. Love Area has always made high quality toys and priced it in a way that the boxes were a great value. However, with the changes to the Babbler, it's still premium quality toys, but I'm not quite sure it's a great value anymore. I'd probably say it's more of a decent value now. The evaluations I've made in this video only hold true for the Babbler Play Kid, as the changes in the other boxes could be for better or worse. I actually already made a video about the changes to the Pioneer Play Kit, so go check that video out. But before you go, let me know down below in the comment sections what you think about the changes. Also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out when I make similar videos for the Realist and Companion boxes. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.